witness. Puts you in the house where Gigi Morasco got carbon monoxide poisoning. Says you're behind the whole thing. He's bluffing. Todd. There's no witness. It's just a big game to try to... Brad? What the hell did you tell them? I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Put him in interview room, too, will you? It's a bluff. Uh, detective, if mm. there's a statement, we're entitled to see it. Absolutely. All right, but I think Jack knows what Brad's going to say, so... So if you have an offer to make... No, he doesn't need an offer. John, stop bullying my son. The kid's a bully, Manning. All right, everybody up at the high school knows it. Don't be Jack. We've got people up there right now taking statements. Those kids, they, they think you're a jerk, man. You really think they're going to lie for you now? John, this you is really harassment. Think, you really think they're going to protect you anymore and be afraid of you? They're not. Did you hear what I said? I heard you the first time, all right? You might want to ask your lawyer one thing, all right? Ask her how they treat bullies in court. I don't think they like them very much. You know, you think you're a tough guy, Jack? I promise you, you're not. No matter what happens with all this, <clears throat> you're about to come up against something a hell of a lot tougher. I just... No matter what anyone says about Jack at the high school, right? That's got nothing to do with this case. Todd is correct. Unless one of the kids at Jack's school saw him at the scene of Gigi's accident. Well, let's go see what Brad has to say. If you need anything, there's an officer right outside the door. Okay, so we want to order a pizza? It's a nice defense, Counselor. What do you think it will gain us by provoking Detective McBain? If I'm gonna defend you, I need to know everything, okay? What could Brad possibly say, huh? That it was all my idea? He's gonna put me in jail. Can I, uh... Get you anything else? A tuna fish sandwich, maybe a cup of coffee? No. So, uh, you want to tell me what went down in that house? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go over it. Gigi Marasco was found in a house that your family owns. There's a string of email messages sent from your computer to Shane Marasco, and that's what got her to the house. Comic Girl 15's profile was created on your account. I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. Really? Because that's what Jack said. You're not going to prison. I'll give you the best defense I can. That's real encouraging. Excuse me. That's Brad's dad. I got a call that my son is here, Brad Kaczynski. Uh, down the hall. Was this serious? Because I'm meeting with my bank. They're going to foreclose. It is serious, sir. Interrogation two, down the hall. Come on. Be right back. Hey, where are you going? What did Jack say? Jack said that you came up with the whole plan, that you set up the online identity, that you sent the messages to Shane, that you picked the place to try and trap him. That's not true. That's not true? Well, then maybe you want to set the record straight. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski. Yeah? Todd Manning. Jack's father. Oh, yeah, they, they called you too, huh? Yeah, yeah, actually, my wife and I have been here for some time. So, this thing's getting really out of hand. Do, do you know what happened? I mean, all they told me was well, that our kids caused some accidents. Yeah, Someone was, yeah. was badly hurt. It was hurt. a really I'm... stupid prank. Uh, and definitely they should be grounded for a month, but this... Chief detective is in this department is a real son of a bitch, John McBain. Yeah, I, I heard of him. Yeah. He must have done some, uh, you know, some bullying training or something like that, but he's determined to turn this into a major crime, and he would like to charge our boys with kidnapping and attempted murder. Oh, my God. Yeah, Are you I serious? Know. Well, yes, I am serious. And we are going to have to get our story straight, or this is going to get really ugly. I mean, Brad's never been in any trouble. No, I'm not sure that's going to hold much water because, uh, you know, this happened on your property. It did? Yeah. But as long as you've got a good lawyer. I, I, I can't afford a lawyer anymore. That's a shame. How are you going to get me out of this? Well, first I have to see the evidence the police come up with, and then I'll figure out a defense. I can't go to prison. Is that the worst thing you can see coming out of this? Yeah, if I go to prison, my life's over. Yeah, I'm sure Shane feels the same way. He's facing his life without his mother, Gigi's Jack. not dead. I saw her in the hospital. 
She is on life support. She has no brain function. Gigi's not gonna get better, Jack. Why are you telling me this? Why do you think? All I've... Jack Manning was arrested for attempted murder and kidnapping. I'm on my way to watch him throw a little punk in lockup now. You're going there right now? It's the only thing that could keep me from Gigi's side. I just want to be able to tell her that the person who put her in that bed is going to pay. And you know what, Brad? We don't have a lot of time. <laughs> you want to go down for this salon? Kidnapping and attempted murder? That won't happen. You know, there's a woman in the hospital right now, and they say she may never recover. That's what attempted murder is. It wasn't. Yeah, what was it, Brad? Because, you know, Jack says you're responsible for the whole thing. And, you know, that, that makes my job easier because, you know, all the evidence points to you. This is a trick. Jack didn't say anything. You're trying to get one of us to flip on the other. I've seen this on TV. Yeah? Have you ever seen prison on TV? <laughs> it's nothing like that. I mean, unless you're watching Oz, it's kind of like that. All I can say is you're gonna be very popular on the inside, and that's gonna be your whole life, Brad. So let me ask you this. Would Jack go to jail to protect you? Jack won't have to go to jail. Well, no, of course not. Not if he can get you to do it for him. Does that sound good to you? Hmm? Hey, you know, I know this was all Jack's idea. And I understand if you were afraid of him. There's a way here, Brad. Tell me the truth. We can make sure this whole thing comes out right. Thank you. So you're all set, Mr. Uh, uh, Kaczynski. Kaczynski, right. Oh, all right, thanks. Of course. So what's it gonna be, Brad? You gonna take the fall for what someone else did? No. Fine. I'll tell you. Hey, Brad. Don't say another word. What were you doing? Where'd you go? Just, uh, doing what I had to do. Which was what? Uh, I called, the uh, called Blair. I didn't want her to hear about this from someone else. You talked to Mom? <clears throat> I actually didn't talk to her. I just left a message. But, uh, you know, the way things are going now, I, I doubt that we'll have to tell her at all. Really? Well, yeah. You've got her handle. The way things are looking, I'm, I'm sure this will all be over before she has to know about it. I have a, a lawyer, uh, Morgan um, Guthrie. He's on his way. Guthrie, huh? Yeah, what, my, my son's not entitled to have representation? Yeah. Sure, by the time I'm done with you, you're gonna need it. Todd. What did you do? Your dad? Why do you suddenly think everything is gonna be okay? Huh? How much did it cost to buy him off, Manning? Buy off who? I don't know what he's talking about. Kaczynski, I'm curious. How much does it cost to get a guy to sacrifice his own kid? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Brad confessed. He said that um, he's the one that set up the account to lure Shane to the house and that he locked Gigi in the basement. Jack had nothing to do with it. Now, Jack, you're free to go. What? 